Data analyst roles have been increasingly more popular over the years because not only are the prospects great as a career starting point where you can expect to earn close to $70,000 in an entry level role, but the long term prospects are great as well since data is going to be at the center of everything that a company does around decision making. And more senior level roles come in at a salary of around $120,000 a year. So if that sounds pretty cool, you might be wondering, how do I go about starting down this path? In this video, I'm going to review the Google Data Analytics Certificate, which I myself completed earlier this year. Now, while I took the courses mostly out of curiosity and just my own education, I love to learn new things. I also happen to be a hiring manager and I thought it'd be useful for me to share a little bit of my perspective on what I think this certificate might be able to do for you, what kind of value it can bring. And make sure to stay till the very end because I'm gonna answer the most important question, which is, can this help you land a job? So. Let's get to it. For starters, what is the Google Data Analytics Certificate and where can you find it? The Google Data Analytics Certificate is a specialization track offered through Coursera, one of my favorite online learning platforms that I've used for close to a decade. And make sure to check out the link below to explore a bit more and follow along while I talk about it. Now, a specialization track is simply a series of courses within a certain subject. In this case, data analytics. These courses are organized in a logical way that takes you from the foundations of how to understand data structures, then to organizing it, interpreting it, and gathering insights to then share with others and inform decision making. There are eight courses in total. Seven of those are truly courses. The last one though is a capstone. This is a project-based course essentially that takes everything that you've learned so far and you complete a project-based exercise and this is in some ways you can relate to a, a case study of sorts but you can decide between some of the business challenges or cases that they provide to you or you can go out and seek your own projects to do but you have to walk before you run so let's talk about the course content if you're a complete beginner this is going to be perfect for you. And if you've had any kind of experience in a business related role and you've used spreadsheet applications like Excel or Google Sheets, you might find some of the content a bit too basic. But that's really what it's all about. It's about the basics and then later in the specialization, the later courses, then you get a little bit more sophisticated. But again, it's still it barely scratches the surface. You'll learn at a very high level how data gets created. And then most importantly for a data analyst, how and where it gets stored, which is usually in a database if you're working with large data sets. There are a handful of database platforms out there, but one of the ways that a user interacts with this database is through a programming language called SQL. This is used to organize and manipulate data in a lot of different ways. So the course will teach you some basic SQL commands, which will be a good primer for you. Outside databases, you'll learn how to use Excel and Google Sheets. Of course, both of them are kind of interchangeable. And in actuality, there's a lot of instances where Excel itself is kind of used as a sort of database, especially if the data sets aren't very large. Now there are pros and cons to that, of course, but I think many people are going to find Excel to be quite a bit more approachable. So these courses also teach you how to organize and manipulate data in those spreadsheet applications. We'll cover some basics on formatting and writing some simple functions. And then it'll go into detail about how to interpret the data and gather insights. Now this can be done in spreadsheets, but you'll also get a short walkthrough on the R programming language, which is what I was most excited about taking this course. Now R is one of the more widely used programming languages for data analysis. So in this course, they'll walk you through a few different lines of code, as well as teach you how to create some visual outputs like charts and graphs. And speaking of visuals, you'll also work with Tableau, which is one of the most popular business intelligence platforms on the market. You'll really get hands-on with how to produce compelling visuals that help tell the story that this data is putting out. And this is a really good sort of end to the sequence of courses because again, it goes from how do we, what do we do with this data that's stored? How do we extract insights from it? And how do we put into visuals to communicate to other stakeholders to pursue some course of action? And all of that culminates in course eight, which is a capstone project. Now you have the option to work with a few different data sets that 
Google provides to you through this course, or you can pursue your own project with a different data set. And if you go that route, you'll find a variety of data sets and projects that you can do through a site called Kaggle. This is one of the largest online communities of data analytics enthusiasts, where not only can you find data sets and projects, you can also interact with other users, ask questions, and upload your own work to build a profile. Which leads me actually to another point that as you go through all these courses, they've mixed in a lot of content about the job search process, how to prepare for interviews, and part of this prep work involves creating a profile in GitHub or Kaggle and building a portfolio of projects that you can showcase on LinkedIn. And this is actually gonna be one of the most important keys to getting a job in this field, which leads to the big question of, can this certificate help you land a job? My perspective as a high hiring manager is yes, it can help you get a job. The operative word being help because it can't guarantee you anything. And to take it a step further, this certificate is likely not going to be enough by itself. Because honestly, I've gone through all this coursework, the certificate is really not difficult to earn. The content itself is quite basic. And while I think it's incredible that a course like this exists in the first place and has a very low barrier to entry, well, it also means that a lot of other people are going to be taking these courses to earn this certificate. So what's the real value of this certificate? One is it helps you better understand whether a career in data analytics is right for you, whether you even think any of this content is interesting in the first place. Second point is that all this content is very well curated. It's well put together and it was created by Google, one of the top tech companies in the world, whose entire business model relies on data. Third is that it's a really good starting point, and it provides you with a lot of really good resources to help take the next steps. It's not just about the certificate, it's what are you gonna do next? It gives you a really good pathway to get there. And fourth point is through the program and through the capstone, you have really under your belt your first project already completed. So that's your first step to building the portfolio. You just have to take it a few steps further. And for how much it costs, which can technically be had for as little as around 50 bucks if you can complete it within a month, it's very easily worth it, especially if it ends up being the spark that lights the flame and gets you interested in a field that maybe you didn't really know about before. But at the end of the day, while the certificate does help, you still need to do a little bit more work to build out that portfolio, have projects you can showcase to prospective employers. You've got to network a lot, reach out to companies, reach out to people, start having those conversations. And this is gonna be how you give yourself the best chance of success at finding a job. But this isn't the only way to get into a data analyst role. Make sure to check out my other video on master degree options that can help you also get into this field. And for videos on career advancement and online education, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.